Well, hello and welcome to e-learning quick tip number 39. In the past, you've heard me espouse the value of video as a teaching and learning tool. Sometimes the challenge then can be finding good sources of video material, and I found some which I think might prove useful to you. It's no, by no means expansive, but these resources have got some great illustration techniques, which I find really makes the message very, very clear. Now, we all know and love YouTube, and it's got a tremendous wealth of content out there, but sometimes it's a matter of finding good quality material amongst it. There's a couple of channels which I uh, regularly visit. This one from RSA Animates. These are beautifully illustrated uh, concepts, really, often to a prominent keynote speaker, and they do a very beautiful hand-drawn animation over the top of them. Let me give you an example of that. This one on changing educational paradigms. Every country on earth at the moment is reforming public education. There are two reasons for it. The first of them is economic. People are trying to f work out how do we educate our children to take their place in the economies of the 21st century? How do we do that? Given that we can't anticipate what the economy will look like at the end of next week. That's probably enough of that for now, but... Um, I'll take you back to the collection here. I'll be, of course, providing links to all of these, but there's a whole broad cross-section of material that's been animated in this way. And it's really very beautiful, and it, it really captures the ideas elegantly and connects them up in a really interesting way. A similar concept comes from this group called Common Craft. Now, recently they have monetized a lot of their videos, they offer subscription services, etc., but they do have a lot of their material freely available. Um, and here's the collection here. It's on a, a range of issues. A lot of them are relating about, around computers and the internet, but there's some stuff about money and investment, stuff about plagiarism. Let's have a look at that one. This is plagiarism, explained by Common Craft. You have something in common with the smartest people in the world. You see, everyone has ideas. We use our minds to create something original, whether it's a poem, a drawing, a song, or a scientific paper. Some of the most important ideas are published and make it into books, journals, newspapers, and trustworthy websites that become the building blocks for things we all learn. But ideas are also very personal and we need dependable ways to keep track of the people behind the ideas we use because they deserve credit for their contribution. Okay, again, that gives you a concept of how they go to animate and illustrate these complex notions. And, and often it's that uh, simplifying of the message that makes such a profound impact. Now, Anyone who's spent any time looking at online video will have met Ted. Ted is quite remarkable. It has um, keynote speakers from all ranges of disciplines, um, beautiful presentations. Often they're a little long form. They often go from anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour. But there's tremendously rich material here on a whole range of um, areas. And I'll just take you down to this view all tags area where you can see the specific uh, topics that are covered here. And you can see how expansive it is. I don't think I'll take you to any specific uh, example there, but allow you to explore that yourself. Because I want to go on now to perhaps my most favourite innovation in this space in the last little while. It's an offshoot of TED called TED Ed, and this really gets me excited. So this has taken some of those key TED Ed talks, it's added an animation layer to them. So like those two f examples that I started with, it's using animation as a device to convey complex messages, and it goes on to provide educational opportunities around those uh, videos. Let me show you an example. Perhaps I'll go in via subject. And let me see which one I'll choose. I'm a bit of a sucker for Adam Savage, so let's have a look at this one.
of the funny things about owning a brain is that you have no control over the things that it gathers and holds on to, the facts and the stories, and as you get older, it only gets worse. Things stick around for years sometimes before you understand why you're interested in them, before you understand their import to you. Here's three of mine. When Richard Feynman was a young boy in Queens, he went for a walk with his dad and his wagon and a ball. And he noticed that when he pulled the wagon, the ball went to the back of the wagon. And he asked his dad, why does the ball go to the back of the wagon? And his dad said, that's inertia. He said, what's inertia? And his dad said, ah. Inertia is the name that scientists give to the phenomenon of the ball going to the back of the wagon. <laughs> but in truth, nobody really knows. Now, the thing which gets me so excited about this initiative, as well as providing these really inspirational speakers and beautiful animation, they uh, dovetail that into educational activities. So here are a series of activities that spin out of that video, a quick quiz. And by the way, these quizzes have been contributed by educators all around the world. Indeed, you can build your own, which is another exciting component of this. A think area that allows you to delve into um, that subject matter in a more uh, solid manner. And then this Dig Deeper, which is effectively research uh, activities that spin out of that video. So a really profound collection here and something I'd greatly encourage you to look at and embrace. It's also possible to take those concepts and spin them yourself to create your own activities and your own questions. But that might be a topic for another time. So anyway, I hope they, they're useful to you. I'd encourage you to spend some time to play. The, the rewards pay out when you discover materials that um, you can integrate back into your teaching. And in fact, the time spent exploring and discovering can very richly in, um, add value to your teaching.